Okay, I already moisturized my found my face with the Embryolis Hydra Matte Emulsion Foundation, not foundation, moisturizer, and it it's really moisturizing and I like to do that when I have a really matte kind of foundation. A lot of these products are brand new to me. Actually, most of the products I'll be using today are brand new to me. So um, I'm going to be kind of talking about each one and then letting you know at the very end what I think about them. The first one that I'm going to be using is the Fit Me Foundation. I did a little teaser on Instagram. And um, I feel like there's a color that's missing in between this because there's a 330 and a 310. And the 310 is good right now, but I don't stay this color. It's very thick. Unlike the Fit Me regular version. And when I first used this, I found that I needed to do one side first. Because it dried really quickly. And I have a lot of blemishes today, so it's a good kind of indicator to see how well it covers. When I smile, like, you can see it kind of drying, which I don't really like. But, um, it definitely, like, oh, it's like, dries like powder, like powder, powder. And then for my concealer, I'm actually using a new color. So it's just new to me, but I've used one similar. This is the Fit Me Concealer in, um, I was going to say NC20. <laughs> this is, uh, 20. Let me wipe out my lips. This is uh, medium, and I actually have the one called Sable. I thought it was 20, but maybe not. Oh, um, for those of you that asked in my last video the one where i was wearing like a soft smoky eye or a blue smoky eye this was a color that i used it was called iconic red and it's by milani i love milani blah. i love milani nail polishes in the color statement brand and they actually just came out with new packaging so the tops of them actually have a color this is a top coat which i had to run out and repurchase because the other one was goopy and it was like down to here so um i really like this top coat and it's very cheap but they have the new tops so now they actually this one would normally have a red and then the one that I'm wearing right now is the color Waterfront. And it's that little kind of water, uh, baby blue kind of color. Another new product to me is the Scandalize Rimmel Kajal, Waterproof Kajal Coal Liner. I really, really want to see how this looks. Two and just kind of smudge it up with an elf angled brush. I'm going to also put this on my lower lash line and my waterline. Rub that all on my finger. I'm using the Ardell, um, Hello Gorgeous, blah, 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 Demi 120s, and I, I didn't use it, I meant to use them, but then I ended up, like, to, you know, not using them, so I haven't used them before. <laughs> I'm just going to use Duo Glue to adhere these. <sighs> okay, if your inner corner ever dries way too quickly... It's annoying, I know. Take a little dab of the glue, a bobby pin, like that. And then just kind of run it along the inner part and just wait for that shit to dry. Oh wow, these are really nice. I don't have anything else that's new from Cheeks, so I'm just gonna do kind of the same old, same old that I always do.
for the lips, I went out and I saw these new Fergie, um, they're like these lip pencils, and they're pretty much like those chubby sticks, but they're matte, and um, I bought Plum, Plum De Nu, I bought Transcendence, and then I also bought Fashion Darling. Fashion Darling looks like, and they scroll up and they scroll down, just like a retractable kind of pencil. Um, it's a really pretty color for like a work day. Like it's very subtle. It's not like a deep red or anything like that. So it's very wearable. So they feel really soft on the lips. It almost feels like as if you were putting like a silicone type of product on your lips that's what it feels like it doesn't feel sticky and it also doesn't feel dry um, I've worn this one day to work already and it was okay with layering on top so it didn't like like mess up or here didn't get really crazy like the way the liquid lipsticks would do so I really like the colors it would be a little bit deeper and it oh okay and it comes off oh, that's some bullshit but you get what you pay for, so. Okay, I'm just doing a little check-in for the foundation. And uh, I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh shit. Um, first of all, my eyeliner is um, like transferring on the inner part of my eye. And I remember the Milani Liquify eyeliner that's really creamy it never did that so um, I'm not completely happy with that but I'm also like not like gonna return the products I kind of I like the way it looks otherwise I like the way it looks smudgy it didn't transfer onto my eyelid which is good it's been probably two and a half hours or so um, but already I am oily all right there if you can see like right there especially I didn't prep like set my foundation or anything but I think right now I am going to an elf brush and um, some Rimmel matte, stay matte powder. This might be perfect. Otherwise, the way it looks, it looks really good. It doesn't look, it didn't oxidize too much. I think it oxidized just a tiny bit, but for me, it actually oxidized to my advantage because I have, my skin was a little bit like my arms and stuff like that was a little bit more tan than the 310 color gave me so um, it worked for me otherwise it looks good I'm not completely poreless it's not accentuating my pores by any means but I'm not poreless and then when I smile like you can see like all my stretch my skin looks like stretchy and like leathery a little bit but I've experienced that before and a lot of times it just has to do with like my skin, the day, how moisturized I prepared my skin before or so things like that. So I, there's ways for me to kind of manipulate it so it does work better for me. But overall, it looks really pretty. Uh, my blemishes are still kind of hidden. I didn't put any concealer on either. Let me touch up my eyeliner a little bit too because I want to see how I can make it look a little bit better. But it did stay on my upper waterline really well. I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing and then check back in at the very end of the night. And it's 11.14. And the eyeliner is great. My lashes are falling, so let me pull those off. Ugh. All here is still very greasy. And right here which is my t-zone um, overall I'd say that this is a really good foundation for just a kind of like an average day wear uh, as long as you set it with um, a powder or you prime it really well with some kind of mattifying primer I really like the way it wears um, it's a little bit drying so just make sure you moisturize it really well it's really inexpensive it's about seven bucks I think maybe eight max if you find a foundation color from the fit me line that is your color I envy you. You're a lucky girl. I hope you guys enjoyed this review, kind of try on with new makeup. Alright, have a good night everybody. I'll see you guys in my next video.